So the first matchup we're going to go over is Texans versus Ravens. And Texans are coming off a dominant performance against notably a top three defense in the Cleveland Browns. And their defense essentially came to play against an experienced vet like Joe Flacco. CJ Stroud also looked amazing and the offense clicked throughout this entire game from first quarter to uh, even the third quarter when the game was essentially over. So against the Ravens this week are coming off a bye week and their starters haven't even played since week 17. Not saying that they're sitting behind the others that have already played games but they're going to be prepared and this is a big game for that team because in the past they had the one seed and lost in the first round and Lamar looks to have a great performance against the Houston Texans who are very young and making the their first win in the playoffs is a huge deal and they're going to ride that momentum for sure. The Ravens defense has been outstanding and will look to be the biggest test for the Houston Texans and for CJ Stroud. And this definitely is one of those games that I'm really looking forward to watch and it will definitely be an interesting game in the sense that both these teams have something to play for but the Texans have not as much to play for because they already won a game but the Ravens are trying to make a Super Bowl and a big statement so I feel like the Ravens have a lot riding on this game more than the Texans do and with that being said I feel like the Ravens are gonna win in a close game uh, because I feel like CJ Stroud will have a solid game and Lamar as well so on to the next matchup this matchup is going to be a pretty much a classic from the previous years and Chiefs got it done in a tundra that was Arrowhead against the Dolphins team that isn't good in the cold weather and really didn't want to even be there near the end of this game. They only put up 7 points and don't really blame them because the weather was really bad and the Chiefs just got it done at the end of this day. The Mahomes looked good even in bad weather and hit Rasheed Rice for numerous times in this game for a lot of points and this upcoming game will be the first time Mahomes has played a road playoff game in his career and it's going to be definitely different for him going forward but this is the Bills game to lose I feel and because the Bills looked dominant against the Steelers team that snuck into the playoffs and in the previous matchup the Bills were able to beat Mahomes earlier this season and are looking to essentially do the same thing on Sunday in the playoffs. The Bills have been losing to the Chiefs in the playoffs and especially that great game they had back in two years ago I want to say and yeah I think that this is going to be another game where it's going to be close and it's going to be a big shootout between Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes and yeah I feel like the Bills have this as a win because he already had that experience winning earlier in the season the bills are also coming off a pretty dominant win against the pittsburgh steelers and it's in their home turf so i feel like this is josh allen's game to win and definitely the chiefs are not as good as they were back in last year when they won the super bowl this is run by a matt Nagy offense and yeah i feel like the bills win this one Jordan Love is essentially the franchise quarterback for the Packers and is continuing what Aaron Rodgers has been doing and that is owning the Cowboys in the playoffs. That was a stellar performance from both Jordan Love and the offense as a whole with Matt LaFleur in play calling. Joe Barry had a good game for play calling as well for the defensive side accounting for two picks from Dak Prescott and for about three quarters this defense looked unstoppable. They embarrassed the Cowboys so much who haven't even lost the home game this season and compared to their opponent, the Niners, uh, the Niners also are like the Ravens are coming off essentially a two week bye and the Niners have been dominant team with a plethora of weapons compared to the Green Bay Packers. Keep in mind the Green Bay Packers are still a very young team and they were able to essentially put away the Cowboys so this is definitely a force to reckon with for the 49ers to not be complacent even though they're very good compared to what the Green Bay Packers are 
and Brock Purdy, CMC, and Ayuk. I feel have to have big games against a young Packers defense and a Packers team that is just hungry to be able to move on further and having this hope, this drive to essentially maybe upset even a number one seed as well. And however, the Niners are foreign against the Rodgers back in the day. And so we shall see what Jordan Love does against this Niners defense and essentially it all depends on what Joe Barry does for the play calling aspect and I don't know I feel like it's going to be a close game wouldn't be surprised if the Packers pull this off but I gotta say that it has to be the Niners that win this game uh, whether it's a close one or even like a slightly bigger margin of victory I feel like the Niners are the best bet for me in terms of moving on forward and on to the next matchup well the lions you've done it you finally did it and you won a playoff game after i think it's 32 years and you deserved it nonetheless it's a crazy game to come from both the rams and the lions both played relatively good games uh the rams however at the end had some very unusual play calling with punting the ball and However, it didn't really matter because they trusted their defense and the Lions ended up converting. The Lions did really well as an offense and essentially converted a lot of crucial downs during this game. Dan Campbell had a really big fourth down call that he did and it ended up working out in the Lions' favor. They had a decent performance against the Rams' offense, especially on the defensive side, especially in the fourth quarter. The fourth quarter, the defense stepped up really well. Lions finally got some calls to go their way and... Yeah, the Buccaneers, on the other hand, they have to take into account this Lions team. This Lions team is completely different from what the Eagles are because the Eagles essentially like blew this game and blew the last six weeks because what do you expect with a Matt Patricia offense? Baker Mayfield looked really good and this Baker Mayfield versus Jared Goff matchup is going to be pretty exciting to watch. and. They handled the Eagles and dominated both sides of the ball really well. Like, I think this final score was 32-9. to And, yeah, th this team is also very good. And while they aren't as talented as the Detroit Lions are, they are still a very gritty team and can maybe even pull up an upset against the number two seeded Lions. And with Mike Evans and Chris Godwin, you can always never count out the offense. And Rashad White is coming to form. He's been a really good target for both the run game and the receiving game for Baker Mayfield. And it's going to be played in a dome, so it's going to be pretty good for in terms of their kicker. And I think the Lions defense is slightly better, but the Lions as a whole have a lot of momentum going into this game because they won their playoff game. They ripped the drought from the city. And yeah, at the end of the day, they are pretty much the better team and i gotta say like this is gonna be a decent game and probably a closer game than most people will ever say and i think that the lions end up winning and actually going to the nfc championship game to face the 49ers so yeah these are my predictions for the upcoming uh divisional round let me know what you guys think down below do you guys agree with these picks do you guys disagree i want to hear them down in the comments below this has been so back sports and i thanks you so much for watching this content and see you guys in the next one